Buongiorno guys, it's Max Finestra, I'm in Kolkata, India, and before getting a food adventure started, I have something important to share with you. I want to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a virtual private network that keeps your online activities private and secure by encrypting your internet connection. Now, imagine you are at the airport or maybe in a cafe and you need to access sensitive information online. As we know, connecting to public Wi-Fi can be risky and your data can be exposed to hackers. But with Surfshark, your connection is encrypted, keeping your personal data safe from prying eyes. When I travel, apart from exploring new places, I love watching some movies on Netflix. With Surfshark, no matter where I am, I can still watch my favorite movies. For example, Parasite, one of my all-time favorite movies. As it is not available in India, I can easily connect to South Korea and watch it. Easy, right? Get Surfshark with the link in the description box. Make sure to enter the promo code ABROADANDANGRY for three extra months free. You have 30 day money back guarantee. What are you waiting for? And now let's go get some food because I'm starving. We just entered Decker's Lane, which is Kolkata food street paradise. Let's go find some delicious food. Okay, we found this spot, super busy, full of locals. I didn't know what they sell. I ask a local, they say they sell some vegetarian dishes plus uh, roti. So I guess I need to give it a shot. Let's line up. Here we are, we received our plate full of veggies. This is called kichuri, which is actually rice crushed and mixed with veggies. We have paneer, potato, carrots over here. One of my favorites, palak paneer. So cottage cheese, ghee and spinach. Then we have potato fry, some onion and uh, this crunchy stuff. I don't even know what they are. They just added them on my, on my tray. Let's give it a try. I've been recommending this by a local I was chatting with. Super hot, by the way. Buon appetito. Mm, mm. Oh. oh, it tastes so healthy, so wholesome, rich in flavor. It tastes like lentils a little bit. I love the potatoes. You can really feel the rice, you know? Carrots, potatoes, mild, not too much spices. Let's go for the palapeneer. Let's put it onto my crisp. Mmm, oh, wow. These crisps themselves have quite a good flavor. It's quite aromatic. And they add a lot to the flavor of the palak paneer. I love palak paneer. It's all about the consistency, creamy, like toffee, that melts in your mouth completely. Filling food, comforting, with affordable prices, full of locals, you can't get wrong. So we came to this place, which is a legendary one, to have a fish fry, which is an iconic dish of Kolkata. I'm quite excited to have it. We're gonna have something like that in a very long time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here we are. We had the famous Kolkata fish fry. It's a white fish, a little butter. I can see spices and herbs. And so we mustard. This is something that I did not expect here. And I guess this come from the British colonial era. Let's get a piece of it. Oh, nice. Let's dip it into the master. Un appetito. Mm -hmm. oh, the beans, it's totally deep meaty. I love the crunchiness from the outer layer. It's not actually greasy. It's all about this mustard. It's tangy, flavorful. Still stays on your tongue. The flavor of it stays on your tongue for quite a while. I actually want to try the fish on its own. Look at the fish. White fish. You gotta get fish here in Kolkata. Really, really nice. Meaty, not fishy at all. Don't put that fraction. I really like them. Oh, they're so busy with the biryani takeaways. They have a vegetarian pulao. Thank you so much. Vegetarian pulao. Chicken and mutton biryani, Kolkata style biryani. The owner insisted I need to try their biryani, Kolkata style biryani. I couldn't say no. Thank you. 
mutton biryani with potato. That's what makes it so unique. Light and spice. Let's see. I don't know what to expect. This will be my first time. See the potato, basmati rice, all the spices in it, all the aroma. Let's check the meat. Oh, this is actually chicken biryani. Let's get a little chicken, little potato, and let's go for it. Oh. Oh my God. So good. Acha. Oh wow, so good. The rice is super mega illegally fluffy. Then you got the mushiness from the potatoes. And what I noticed is way less strong in spice. So it's, I would say mild, but still has a strong flavor. You can really taste the cardamom. I can really tell the difference from the Hyderabadi biryani. Incredible. And the meat of the chicken is juicy, super tender. This will blow you away. This is crazy. So we came to this place to have a mango lassi full of people. Thank you. All right, we made it. Here we are. The best drink to beat the heat here in Kolkata. Look at this beautiful mango lassi. Let's take a look on top. We got dry fruits, cherry, cashews and something granular in between, which I don't know what it is. I guess we will know very soon. So I always order drinks here in India without ice, because you never know how the ice is made, okay? So where the water comes from. Let's get a bit of this, a bit of everything actually. Mm -mm. Oh. The granola thing, it's kind of cheesy, a bit savory. Ah, uh, so refreshing, sweet, thick, rich. This can make you feel full. This is a meal on its own. It's just so nice. Oh, Kolkata, by the way, it's mega hot. You really need something like that. getting dark and I think it's the right time to have Kolkata's most iconic dish, Kati roll. Hello. Kati roll? <laughs> the iconic Kati roll. Beautiful. Onion, marinated chicken, spices, bit of lime, oh, masala. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> That's more than a little bit. <laughs> Wow, that's huge. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, take a look. This is gigantic. We got an egg roll. I believe it's prata with egg in it and marinated chicken. We got chili in it, onion, spices, masala. Looks awesome. In the first bite, I'll get only the bread. Let's see. Buon appetito. Oh, look at the chicken, marinated, juicy, full of spices. We got a kick from the onions. No wonder it's iconic. I see it's full of locals. We got people after they finish their working time, they come here and enjoy some cutty roll. This is really good. You got the bread, which is cooked on the hot brittle, slightly fried with the egg in it. This is seriously delicious. I can really taste those Indian spices, like peppery, lemony, citrusy, tangy, and the paratha is cooked to perfection. To end our Kolkata food tour, I feel like something a little bit sweet. There is a shop right on the other side of the street that makes traditional Kolkata sweets. Let's go. We came to the shop to have uh, a couple of sweets, local sweets. Let's see what they get. We came for the rasgulla. They don't have the classic one. They just finished, actually. The person in front of me just finished. 
but the guy suggested something else. What can I try? So baked rasgulla or other Kolkata dessert? Okay. Oh, jaggery. Okay, this is a beautiful selection of local sweets. Look at the colors, the shape. India is just so creative when they make desserts. You feel like to eat everything and they're all super sweet. Give me two of your favorite. Yes, thank you. So this is Sandesh. Here we have a couple of desserts. We have Sandesh, they're both made with jaggery, of course, sugar. This is baked, this is just regular. I can see some pistachio on top. And this is baked rasgulla. So we came here for the traditional rasgulla, which has a white color. This is the baked one. Let's go for the rasgulla first. Oh, I broke the spoon. This won't stop me from trying. It looks so spongy, completely soaked in uh, thick, sweet, jaggery cream. Let's go for it. Mmm, oh, warm. Mm. So spongy. It's like eating bread. It's sweet, it's a bit nutty, with a bit of caramel taste. That's nice. Nice and warm. I never tried anything like that. Moving on. Sandesh. We got the classic one with some pistachio on top and the baked one. Okay, let's go for the classic one. Mmm, it's like cheese. Quite sweet, granular a little bit. Unique. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but unique. And now the last one. All right, let's get a piece. Looks like a tart. Mm. Very similar, but with a thick layer on top, almost like caramel. It tastes like exactly the same as the previous one. So it's a bit cheesy, savory and sweet. I think this is my favorite. Also because it's warm. See, but what I love about Indian desserts is that they have a huge variety from sweet to savory and you go any shape, color. They're just so creative. They've just been given by one of the guys. This one here, Kirkada, I believe. And it's made with jaggery as well. So kind of them. Oh. This is nice. You can taste jaggery. You got the outer layer, less spongy, more dry, with a caramel aftertaste. This is my favorite. This is the winner. <laughs> this is my favorite. It's really good. <laughs> and he's our friend over there. They just gave us a dessert. Thank you so much. Thank you. So kind. All right, guys. We made it to the end. This was uh, the end of our Kolkata food tour. It's been incredible, people super friendly, the food is delicious, the city is incredible. I've never seen a city like this. You just got that retro feel. If you're ever in India, just come to Kolkata because you will love it. Thanks a lot for watching guys and see you next week. Ciao.